In exercise 3.3, we have to use this select live table to determine some probabilities. And let's start with question A, where we have to determine the probability that a live currently aged 75, who has just been selected, so selected at age 75, this life has to survive until age 85. So in actuarial notation, we look for a survival probability. So I put a P here. It's someone aged 75 who was selected at age 75. So I put the 75 between brackets. This life has to survive until age 85. So survival for another 10 years. So in order to calculate this survival probability, we have L. 75 so someone who was selected at age 75 has to survive for another 10 years and i divided by the number of people we have at the start of our calculations because the select period is two years l 75 plus 10 is just equal to l 85 and now i can use the table to find l 85 and um, L75. So L85 is 10,542 because here we have 83 and in this column we have LX plus 2. So you have 10,542 divided by L75. It's this 15,930. And if you do the calculations, you find that this is equal to 0 0.66. For question B, we are looking for the probability that someone who is now 76 and who was selected one year ago, so selected at age 75 and now aged 76. And this person has to die between 85 and 86. So now we are doing a mortality probability. So I put the Q here. The age is 76, but I write that the selection was at age 75. And now we are one year later. This person has to survive until age 85, so for another nine years. And then the life has to die within two years before 87. So it's Q9 bar 2. All right, so this probability can be calculated as follows. You take first how many people died between 85 and 87. Seven. And because it's a select life table with select period of two years, I can write L85 minus L87. So this is the number of people that died between 85 and 87, divided by how many people I had at the start, which is the number of people that were all selected at age 75, but are now age 76. So if you now look in the table, L85, you already got that number, it's 10,542. L87 is this one here, it's 9,064. Divided by L75 plus 1, it's this one here, it's 15,668. And if you calculate, you get 0 0.094 as your probability. In question C, we have to calculate the following probability, where we have a mortality probability. There is a Q there. It's someone who was selected at age 77, but today our life is aged 78, so we are one year later. And this person has to survive for four years, so until the age of 82, and then die within two years, meaning die before the age of 84. So in order to calculate this probability and taking into account that the select period is only two years, we have L82 minus L84 because this is the number of people that die between 82 and 84 divided by the number of people I had initially in my group. It's L77 plus one. So all persons that were selected at age 77 and are now aged 78. 
So if you use a table, you fill in the numbers for L82, L84, and L77 plus 1, and you find the probability of 0 0.0899.